Welcome back to a brand new video on multiverses. We got quite a bit of information on the last 12 or so hours, folks, and multiverses is looking good. There is some great news regarding the battle pass and also some news regarding the in-game currency. So hit that like and subscribe button and let's jump into multiverses. Back when the beta went live, the player count topped 20 million users, which is just insane. Well, if you played the open beta, you're in for a right old treat. Player First Games has announced the following. For our returning players from open beta, if you log into Multiverses by June the 11th, you'll receive access to Season 1 Premium Battle Pass for free. And as part of that, you'll get the Jason Voice character from Friday the 13th as your first reward. This is an absolute win for every single one of the 20 million users who played the beta. Getting a premium battle pass for free is always a great thing. And having Jason being the very first reward unlocked is just brilliant. He seems to be the character that every player wants to see, so we will definitely be seeing a lot of Jason vs Jason on Reddit, YouTube and so forth. For open beta players as well, they will also receive a special edition Snowsuit Finn commemorative character variant, a special edition Rising Stars ring out, and a special edition Banana Gad announcer pack. Player First Games is showing other games companies how it should be with their player base and going by their name, Player First Games. Giving this many items out for free as well shows that they want the game to be popular and player first experience. The duration for Season 1 Battle Pass as well is 8 weeks, so enough time to get all of the items. And this is also the kind of standard for Battle Pass this day and age. You know, mostly 2-3 to three months. But what I like with this one is that they've stated if you finish the Battle Pass early, the final tier will be repeatable, so you can keep playing and earning more rewards. To me, this just sounds incredible. Every Battle Pass that you can currently play you know, Card, Apex, Fortnite, whatever. Once their battle pass is complete, they don't let you keep going over the final tier to keep getting the reward. This is just a major win. Now we're talking about the currency and that has also been updated. On the website, they say the following. During the open beta, players may have acquired Gleamium, character tokens and battle pass tokens. All of these items will still be available at launch and can be used in the same way. In the open beta, character tokens were only acquired through the Founders Pack and used to unlock characters. When we launch, we will not be offering new character tokens, but if you already have existing character tokens in your inventory, you can still use them to unlock characters. Similarly, Battle Pass tokens were used to unlock the Premium Battle Pass tier during open beta and were also only acquired through the Founders Pack. When we launch, we will not be offering new Battle Pass tokens, but if you already have existing tokens in your inventory, you can still use them to unlock the Premium Battle Pass tier. Again, this is just an absolute win if you played the beta and if you had the Founders Pack as well. I never did have the Founders Pack, but if you did, you can look forward to getting some use out of the currency you currently got. Currency has actually changed as well from the beta to actual release, with new types of currency being introduced. We have Perk, used to unlock in-game perks, Fighter, used to unlock characters, Prestige, unlock exclusive Prestige cosmetics, and Gleamium, cosmetic, emotes, battle pass, and more. And you can see how they gained, which is mostly the same across the board, by competing in events, Rifts mode gameplay, etc. Gleamium as well is the only currency which can be purchased with real world currency, so be careful with that if you don't want to spend any real money. Character and account mastery as well will also be reset to level 1 at launch for every single player. This is to keep everything fair for new players coming to the game, which is understandable. Player First Games also say that this is being done as they want to give all players the chance to earn lots of items. So let us know your thoughts below fellow multiversaries and I'll see you in the Batcave.